Hey guys, Digital Fix here, and uh, I just filmed a video where I was shooting skeet outside after dark. Otherwise, I don't intend to make a whole lot of gun content. Uh, but I did want to share something that uh, hopefully doesn't need to be shared, but probably does, because I've, I've done it, and it's such a no-brainer once I was made aware of it that it seems like common sense. But it wasn't common sense, because I had to be told it myself before it really registered. And that is, one of your best choices for home defense is a shotgun because you're not going to be sending bullets through multiple rooms or from through your wall into someone else's house through multiple rooms of their house or whatever you know or if you're in an apartment complex and you're having to take a shot through the door for some reason you're not going to be sending bullets all the way through to the other door across the way you know while someone's looking out that door to see what's going on and you kill them instead of the criminal. Uh, it's just having a long rifle for home defense is not a good plan, honestly. And a pistol, pretty much the same boat. Um, a pistol, at least a pistol makes more sense in a close range situation than a home defense situation should be. Um, but anyways, I digress. Out here in the country, I guess you run into some scenarios where Possibly a rifle makes more sense, but then again, how are you being in danger and needing to use lethal force if you have to use a rifle to reach out and touch them? So it's just sketchy, but in so just about every scenario, shotgun's gonna be better. Uh, also, uh, another thing is typical shotgun's gonna hold five shots. It may have a plug in it to only hold three, so it could be legal for hunting or whatever, but if it doesn't have the plug in, then it's gonna hold five, but it only holds five if one of them's chambered. And I recommend that you do not leave your shotgun with a bullet chamber, or shell chambered. And there's a couple reasons for that. For one, in the intensity of a, home, of a true self-defense situation, that's gonna be terrifying. You're gonna be on edge. And you don't want, you're not gonna know how well you handle that until you're handling it. And you don't wanna find out that you don't handle it well while your kid's laying there bleeding out because you just shot them as they came around the corner because you had no idea they were gonna be up and at it. Or that you shot some poor innocent drunk dude that was dropped off at the wrong house by Uber or something, you know? Uh, but if someone's a, a threat to you, or not a threat to you or whatever, you know what can bring a lot of clarity to the situation? You don't get that, well you can have that clarity even if you already have one in the chamber, but I'm just saying, why, why have the extra danger of a, of a shell in the chamber? Because chances are, You've got more chance of pumping the shotgun, saving your life, than being the extra step that got you killed. And it's gonna give you an advantage. I mean, how many, how many people, first off, how many of us are even needed to use uh, lethal home defense? Hopefully, hardly any of us in that should mostly be the case. But then the next thing is, how many criminals putting people in a position of needing self-defense, how many of them are super experienced and just ready to be under that same scenario themselves? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, know the stats on that, but I imagine there's a good chance that it's going to give you the upper hand in the state of mind game at that point. It's your house, you know it, you know the territory, uh, you're the one with stuff to protect, and you're the one that was prepared to protect it, and this means it's gonna hurt. <laughs> so, you know, someone may have had their mind, they're gonna have this little, they might be shots fired at them, they're gonna miss and stuff. You know, when you see people missing multiple shots, you see them shooting long guns or pistols at people. You don't see these videos where someone shot four or five shots from a shotgun and missed this person every time. You hear this and you come around the corner to it, you're gonna get hit if they are firing at you 
So that's, that's in your favor to have to chamber it. So why have that risk of something that can be accidentally a trigger pull can accidentally end the life of one of your kids that weren't supposed to be messing with the gun, but they got a hold of it anyways, or whatever, you know, or yourself, uh, give yourself that extra step, the extra moment to be sure you want to pull that trigger if you have to. I, that's, that's my personal opinion on that stuff. That's the way I roll. Uh, I keep this safe, but accessible. Uh, and I don't ever anticipate using it for self-defense. Um, and I'll just cross that bridge when I get there. I'm not going to live my life being prepared, hoping, or I'm not going to live my life for the day that I could try to kill somebody else and stay alive. Like, hopefully I'm prepared enough for that if it happens, but better yet, if you're in a scenario where that's very likely, you got to change your decisions because you're doing something. It, you know, there's crime... Turn off the talk radio because crime's not so bad that it's impossible to be safe uh, without preparing for bloodshed, okay? Most people in this country should be able to go to bed at night with no fear of, of needing to use a gun for self-defense in the middle of the night, okay? Uh, so we, we need some common sense with guns. Uh, but in the meantime, we do need... We do need the basics, the very basic rudimentary stuff of guns to be common sense, I think. Um, so that's where this comes in. Shotgun being a number one choice for home defense is kind of, it's such a no-brainer that once you're told it, you'll forget that you had to be told it. If you didn't know it, if you didn't, if you didn't come up with that on your own, you'll forget that you ever had to be told it. It'll just seem like it was common sense. You'll feel like it. everybody should know that. Um, but not everybody does, I don't think. So that's where this PSA is coming in. And again, the chamber in, I think, uh, you know, there's a lot of ego mixed into gun culture and stuff like that. And, and you see the people with their training videos, so they'll give you the runaround on why if you're not already chambered and stuff. But I just, I think it's foolish. I don't trust myself to not shoot myself with a pistol that's already chambered, ready to fire. Um, but, you know, long guns, I, I don't know, so dirty, you know, it's just, it's about other people's safety primarily. But when it comes to a pistol that's ready to fire, shoot, I scared the hell out of myself, you know, uh, to be honest. But anyways, so I hope that helps. Won't be a lot, of, a lot of gun content, but I'll put my four shells back in. And if you really want that fifth one, I got it sitting on the shelf. It's in quick grab. I can slap it in after, you know, but if you need... What are you planning on facing, though? I mean, it doesn't hurt to be prepared, but let's hope that if you ever do have to defend yourself with a shotgun, you only need one shot, okay? Let's hope you're not facing a whole mob, but I guess it's happened, but I digress. I don't have anything to gain by you buying extra weapons or any ego to gain by you thinking that my weapons are more cool. I've got, I've got nothing special when it comes to weaponry. I've got what I need, so uh, anyways, Take care, guys. I'm Digital Sticks. I'm out. If you appreciate the PSA, please uh, consider a like and subscribe. And I'll always be keeping it real in one, one form or fashion. want to have as much fun as possible in content, but also want to help people. Uh, I just, just this day and age, guys, um, it's, it's just nuts. And it's time to have some truly independent people get a chance to encourage other people to be truly independent. We need it. So anyways, if you like that and appreciate it, thank you. And I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.